to my channel. My name is Frances and if you're new here I am thrilled to have you and I hope you will like and subscribe and uh, click that little uh, bell and that will let you know when I upload a video. Um, and for you guys who have been around for a while now, I just want to say I love you all so much. I love the loyalty that you have given me um, and how well you have embraced me in the community at large and uh, with all you new gals who have um, started following me since I got on to the whole fragrance wagon. <laughs> And this has been quite a great journey. Uh, today's video is extremely special to me and I'm going to try and get through this without being emotional uh, because it's kind of an emotional day for me. Um, I don't normally get into politics and I kind of don't, well yeah, politics, <laughs> yeah. Um, for you guys and gals who watched the Harry and Meghan um, uh, interview with Oprah last night. I know you gals in the UK got it last night so you'll be reeling this morning. Uh, we got it the night before so I've had a little bit of time to uh, to process and to just uh, calm myself down. <laughs> so um, uh, just as a disclosure, disclosure here, I'm a huge fan of Megan. So if you're uh, not, then uh, I don't want any hate comments down below because they will be deleted. And I just want to say that uh, she has and Harry have my absolutely full 100% um, support. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to get, I just felt I had to address that. So. Without further delay, I'm just going to get straight into this video and you'll know what it's about from the title. And I'm a little bit emotional today, so I'm going to have a cup of tea um, to celebrate because it is early in the morning. And uh, yeah, a little bit early to celebrate with champagne, but um, uh, tea in fine English bone china is going to be very fitting for this amazing review. So if you're interested in hearing my journey with a Penhaligon's Elizabethan Rose, then you're going to want to listen to this. So, Yes, I'm enjoying a, a cup of tea. It is an uh, Earl Grey blend. And um, I buy my tea at a, um, a place called David's Tea. It's uh, Canada and they will um, specially blend a tea for you if you wish. They will, if you say, I want um, an Earl Grey with rose in it, they will do that for you and that's exactly what this is this is a blend of earl grey tea with rose and uh, you steep it it's the good old-fashioned way to drink tea and it is in a fine english bone china i will link the name of it down below uh, this is a vintage uh, cup and saucer and uh, i haven't drank out of a proper teacup for a long time. So in honor of my debut, here we are. And the finger is out. Proper English Earl Grey tea. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. First of all, let's appreciate this box because I'm all about the presentation of a fragrance and this one does not disappoint at all. Look at the beautiful stamp rose. It's raised on the box. Look at that. 
and it's embossed. It's an embossed box. This is the top, the sides. You can feel the pattern is raised. And then the front has got this beautiful Penhaligon's Elizabethan rose with the rose raised up on the front. There she is, guys. Look at this box. Look at the little area she's nestled in. So when she's in that box, she's not going anywhere. So here we go. Here's the bottle. And the lid. So this is a beautiful glass bottle with um, what I'm assuming is, not sure if it's glass on the top or not, but it certainly looks like glass. It's, it's a good weight. Um, it's got this beautiful Victorian lace necklace or whatever it is that that's called. Um, it's a beautiful top. The bottle is stunning. It's well made. Um, the color of the juice is like, almost like a transparent of pinky violet color. Very, very almost clear with a hint of pink or almost like a violet color. Um, this is a 100 ml Eau de Parfum. And as I say, the lid is just the bottle. The whole presentation of this is just stunning. Um, so, let me just spray it in the air. Nice sprayer, beautiful. This fragrance makes me emotional. This fragrance reminds me of Diana. I know this was not a fragrance that she wore, but this makes me think of her when I smell it. It makes me think of walking through an English rose garden after the rain. That smell of wet roses, that's what this smells like to me. So I will tell you the notes, but that's what it smells like to me. Um, this was not love at first sniff. Uh, in fact, none of the Penhaligon um, samples that I have were love at first sniff. I was introduced to Penhaligons. I had no idea what Penhaligons were, was, what, anything about it until I met Abby. And Abby and I have become very close friends over the past probably seven or eight months that we met. I think I was on my fragrance journey uh, a couple of months when I found Abby. I don't know if she found me or if I found her. I can't remember. But um, when I started watching her videos and she was talking about Penhaligons, I got very interested. And so um, she said, oh no, I know what it was. It was the fragrance that she was looking for. That's where we started our friendship and that's when we bonded. And I sent her the fragrance uh, because I found it here through a legitimate contact of mine on eBay. I know, <laughs> scary place to find fragrance, but I know this, don't know this person personally, but I've had dealings with them before and I found the fragrance that she wanted and I can't remember what it was called, but she did a video on that and I'll link it down below if I, if I remember. So that's when we started our journey. So I, I got it, I mailed it to her and then we became friends. So um, I started getting interested in Penhaligons. So she said, I'm gonna send you some samples. And then also she has a company that sells clothing. And I ordered uh, one of the, one of the uh, sweatshirts from her company. And uh, I love it. I wear it all the time. It's one of my favorite sweaters and it's got the big black heart on it. And it was during the time that uh, Black Lives Matter 
and when I saw the sweater it just touched my heart and I ordered it and I wear it all the time so so we became fast and furious friends through that we we talked to each other over um, over the um, whatsapp and uh, so she sent me some uh, samples and I was less than impressed at first and then I put this on one day and I thought mmm smells a little bit old lady-ish and then you know that revelation you get after you wear a fragrance and then suddenly it just something goes off and you just cannot stop smelling yourself at first mm, it was okay then I wore it again the next day and then I went through the sample that she bought me. I'm literally now down to the very, 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 very tiniest little bit at the bottom. So I said, I have to get my hands on it. I just have to get my hands on it. So I went on the Penhaligon site, I spoke to them. They have one in the United States, I believe as well, but they don't ship here to Canada. So Penhaligon's is very difficult to find. There are a few sites here that do sell Penhaligon's and I have managed to find um, Elanicia, 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 and it's a lovely fragrance and I'll talk about that one another time, but this is the debut of this one and this one only today. So I did find other fragrances, other Penhaligon's on these legitimate websites, but I could not find Elizabethan Rose. It's nowhere to be found in Canada. And uh, so I went on the website and it was actually on sale for half price. And I thought, you know, what am I gonna do? You know, like, what am I gonna do? I'll go and I'll look somewhere else for it because they wouldn't ship it to me here in, in Canada. So I went and I looked on um, all the sites that I knew that I trusted and then I went further afield. And that's when I went down a very deep, deep and dark rabbit hole because I did find it um, I actually sent pictures of the box uh, to Abby. We both decided that it was a legitimate because it had the barcode on the bottom. It had all of the, it, it, it was a 99.9% .9 dupe. Yes, you heard me right. It was a dupe. I had gone ahead and after and not don't get me wrong this this anyone would have fallen for this except one thing and it was coming from when I realized where it was coming from I decided to go on to um, to YouTube again and search out fake Penhaligon's fragrance and I found a couple of videos, not a lot of videos on fake fragrances, this one in particular, but when you get into this high end, there are lots of fakes out there. It was coming from Russia. So for those who know about fakes, eh, they know that if it is a fake, it's gonna probably come out of Russia or, um, some of the uh, Arabian uh, areas, I'm not really sure about. But anyway, uh, the one, and I had actually gone on after it was authenticated by Abby and I, we decided, both of us decided that it was authentic. And I think it was a hundred and something dollars. Um, so I went ahead and I ordered it. And then I realized that I think this might be fake, so I messaged the company, the, the site that I got it from, and I will link that all that information down below. I did message them, they were very pleasant, and I said, I want to know, is this authentic or not? Didn't say anywhere on it that it was authentic or it was a replica or anything like that. It didn't say any of that. It just showed you, it was very misleading. She wrote me back immediately and said, these are replicas 99.9% .9 replicas of the fragrance you will not know the difference I said cancel my order immediately um I said just yeah she said you and so she wrote me back and she said no like it's 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 a replica it's I said I don't want that I am not 
about to enter into that dark hole of replicas, fakes, you call it whatever you want to call it, I'm not going down that road. So I immediately contacted Abby and told her what had happened and she apologized and she said, and I said, no, 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 no. This is not you, this is nothing on you. I was convinced it was me who ordered it and it was me that realized afterwards, after I watched this video, and I can't even remember, it was, it was so long ago. This is months ago. This has been a journey for months. And I know this video is probably going to be really long, but um, you know, skip through it if you want to, but this is educating, this has educated me, and I just want you to know, if you don't already know, you probably think, oh, you know, she's so naive, but some people are not aware of this. And I'm not naive, usually. I'm pretty sharp at picking out um, fake people. <laughs> and so, to cut a long story short, they did let me cancel it, so I appreciated that and I thanked them very much. And um, and I went on my merry way and I messaged uh, Abby and I said, you know, I was on the um, the English Penhaligans and they actually had it on for 66 pounds for the 100 ml um, bottle. And I said, but they won't ship it to me. So she said, Francis, ship it to me because it's free shipping within the UK. If you spend over, um, I believe if you spend over 50, 50 pounds, did I say $66? It's not $66, it was 66 pounds, something like that. It's regular 144 pounds. So it was on for an incredible price, legitimate price. In fact, it ended up being cheaper uh, than the fake one, if you can believe that. So I shipped it to her and she proceeded to try and ship it to me with Brexit the way things are right now. Another political thing that we're not definitely not going to get into because I don't know enough about it and I'm not living in the UK anymore. Uh, but yeah, with Brexit, um, it was sent back to her. So I was just devastated for her. I didn't care about the perfume at this time. This, 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 at this point, it was not about the perfume. It was about the heart, the difficulties that, that Abby went through to get me this fragrance. So to cut a long story longer, <laughs> she was not going down. She was not going down. This fragrance was coming to me no matter what she had to do. If she had to get on a plane and bring this to me, she was gonna do it. I know that girl. <laughs> but with Brexit going on and COVID going on, <laughs> neither one of us could make it across the ocean <laughs> to get me this fragrance. So she immediately discarded the, whatever the special um, delivery was that she was going to go through and you had to go through all these papers. She just stuck it in an envelope, uh, like an, in a box. The box went within a box and she mailed it to me blindly through the regular Royal Mail. And it came to me, but it took about probably three or four weeks to get here. So that's the story of how I ended up with this amazing fragrance. The smell is incredible. So if, if you're in Canada, you probably can't get it. But if you're in the United States, don't blind buy. Don't, I would never encourage anyone to blind buy anything unless it was like 20 bucks. But not this, because if you're in the United States, this is going to cost you over $300. I'm just saying. So the notes are, let me just drink my tea again before it's completely stone cold. And it is stone cold, but anyway, it's still good. The notes are, let me just look on my tablet here. So, um, Elizabethan Rose was created in 2018 by, by Penhaligans, is a floral woody musk fragrance for women. Top notes are hazelnut, tangerine, almond, and cinnamon. Middle notes are May Rose, rose oil, rose, this is a rose fragrance guys, red lily, plum, black currant, and geranium. Base notes are musk, violet, woody notes, orris root, and vetiver. So all of that is in there. All of that is a truly amazing blend. 
Um, I cannot. I, I have a fragrance on this morning because it's my fragrance of the day. It's it's a rose fragrance also. It's uh, Bella Rosa. So I'm just going to also spray this one on me on top of the Bella Rosa. Um, I, I mean, like, come on, like, seriously, like, I know I'm wasting it, but you know what? It's mine to waste. What do I get right off the bat? I get, I can, I can smell that burst of hazelnut and like that, um, that spiciness comes in to play. It's very fresh. You get that gorgeous cinnamon, spicy cinnamon, the rose, the rose oil. I can smell all of these delicious notes as it dries down. Um, I'm just gonna spray it on my hands as well. Look at that sprayer, guys. This is so incredible. Guys, spring is just around the corner here and I can't wait to wear this. This is going to, I'm gonna rock this for spring and summer. This is a great fragrance for spring. It's a great transition from winter into spring. It's spicy, it's fresh, it's floral. It's magical, it's sparkly, and this could be my signature fragrance. This could be, this is elegant. This is, um, this is, this is a classy lady. You're, you're, you, you're not just gonna wear this to putter around the house. You're gonna wear this. You're gonna wear this to a garden party. You're gonna wear this if you want to go out for lunch with your girls. You could wear it anywhere, anytime in the spring and the summer. Like it's, at, I can just imagine a summer, summer party wearing this. It could be your signature fragrance though, so you could wear it uh, all the time. Well, thank you for watching this long and rambling video, but, um, but yeah, I wanted to do justice to this fragrance, how I ended up having it in my collection. Um, I will, I will carry the memory of how I ended up having this fragrance in my heart for always. Um, Abby, you truly are a gem in this this crazy world we live in, um, and in in just in the whole realm of what's going on in the world today. Um, you are sunshine in my life, and uh, I'm going to end it on that note. Thank you all for watching um, and I hope you watch right to the end and if you have watched this right to the end there is no giveaway uh, but um, there is a special thank you to you all for watching it and I hope you give me a beautiful pink heart with a red rose fill up the fill up the comments with pink hearts and red roses if there was a red row if there was a pink rose this reminds me of a very deep pink rose not a red red rose although it is red it reminds me more of a very deep pink um, fragrant rose wet with the rain thank you all for watching and as I always say don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle <laughs>